Why should we be so worried about COVID-19 so much? Soon you'll be a norm, a kind of endemic what? of what our Singapore government has been trying to tell us. So far, the vaccine is the best solution in the world. And this is the best way our government can help the citizen. That time, Delta, now Omicron, and next one, don't know what. And it will never end. This was why our Singapore government had the foresight. <gasps> you see the future. That what could happen next. And they know that the pandemic will last for a long time and not even will end. And that's the reason why they tell us it will become an endemic. Additionally, our government is just following whatever who is trying to woo the world and it's up to any one of us to believe whether the vaccine works or not. If the world is following the WHO guidelines, should our government take the risk to tell the citizens not to take the vaccines? Of course they wouldn't do that. We have to take the vaccine even for the children, whether we like it or not in the end. However, what being so annoying is that the vets is taking the vaccine for granted that they could still gather around without wearing masks. The pandemic is not over and have not turned into endemic and we all are waiting for the government to officially free us to get out of this kind of bondage yet there are some people out there don't really care and could boom, 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 crush together like the yellow minions not wearing masks and happy new year rubbing their bodies with each other here and there what the hell the people are thinking as a matter of fact, I started to pity the show me your badge that woman. Because she was not wearing masks last year, she has to be sentenced to jail. Then how about this group of people? They're not wearing masks and so rubbing themselves, I rub you, you rub me. And kissing here, kissing there, wishing each other Happy New Year. Hi. all I could say is count herself unlucky. Show me your badge. Those who have taken the vaccines do not gloat. They are vaccinated and should respect the decision of unvets. Similarly, the unvets shouldn't stop others from getting vets by instilling fear in them by saying that the vaccine could cause some magnetic power or how vaccine could kill someone. This is nonsense and unscientific. All the nonsensical fightings between vets and unvets is getting outrageous until we become so confused to know what information is fake and what is real. It's just making the world confused, all us confused. What? It's supposed to be a very simple choice. It's like yes or no answer. Yeah. Shall we get vets or not? Right now, the vaccine is the best solution to prevent pain and death and free us from getting grounded at home 24 hours every day so that we couldn't go out to spend money. No one is forcing us to take the vaccine anyway. Additionally, we should take care of ourselves but not to rub each other and put our masks down even we are vexed. As a matter of fact, we should count ourselves lucky enough in Singapore. Some countries like the Philippines, the government mandate the citizen to do stupid things ah! like wearing face shield even you are wearing masks and the citizens are not allowed to go out of their homes if they are not vaccinated and they can't even take a bus. Thus, I don't really understand why Singaporeans shouldn't support what our government is doing. Our government is already reasonable enough on how they control the situation. Also, there's no need to worry about vaccine even for the children. I thought children even took BCG vaccine to prevent tuberculosis before until it was proven not necessary. So why should we be so paranoid about the COVID-19 vaccine? Just take one or two or three or four. People who went for vaccination are all just trying to hope to get their life back to normal the way they want. Hope is better than no hope. You know what I'm saying? To hope one day people can travel via quarantine and the VTL, to spend money freely at shopping malls, to have steamboat without worrying about anyone spitting saliva and waiting to throw away their masks. So everyone has their own choice whether we get vaccinated or not. We shouldn't keep on telling others to take, neither should we stop them to take the vaccine that in the end, we are just fighting against each other. Nevertheless, all of us who have some social responsibility to keep everyone safe, whether we are vets or non-vets. So far, no one can guarantee any medicine is 100% effective, even we have some chronic diseases, right? 
My point is whether we want to get vaccinated or not is an easy choice. It's not complicated. Just that this yes or no. Simple as that. And there's no need for us to look for more information that will only make us confused. However, not because of we are vaccinated, we can become a kind of super spreaders like them and let our gut down. See you, subscribe and share. Ciao. I'm a fine making my mind. Hey boy.